My name is Rich Horn. I work for Motorsports Land in Salt Lake City. We are the Georgetown dealer for the Salt Lake area. Today we're going to be looking at a 34H5 built by Georgetown. There are three, three different series in the Georgetown lineup. There's a GT3, GT5s, and GT7s or XLs. This is the GT5 and the thing that you're going to be amazed at is the amount of value you're getting for the buck. There's a whole lot here. Please pay attention so that you have an idea of really what you're receiving for a very real price. This is the 34H. It's a brand new floor plan. We're going to go on the inside so you can see where the benefits of that new floor plan are. But as far as the construction goes, we need to cover a few things. Number one, it's a fiberglass, one piece fiberglass roof. The uh, windshield is mounted like an automotive um, usage. It is going to uh, stay in place. It's not a free floating windshield like some of the other Class A motorhomes have. It's mounted like a, a car. There are uh, steel beams in the front that can protect you, making it more or less a steel cage for, that you're traveling in. On this 34H, it comes with a larger chassis. This is a 22,000 pound chassis. You notice it's got the 22 and a half inch tires and wheels and the Alcoas come standard on this unit. It has the uh, um, st stainless uh, finish on the mirrors, gives it a much higher look. And you also have a uh, backup camera and side cameras um, to make it a lot easier for driving. As we go down the side of the coach, one thing that we really like about this unit is the fact that it's got a 30 inch door that's about two inches wider than a lot of the other manufacturers put in their units. And you also have two, two handrails. You've got a rubberized handle right here for climbing up the stairs and you've also got a steel one on the inside. So it doesn't matter how short or tall you are, there's a way to hold on to get into that coach. And also noticing that this is a little taller than some of the other motorhomes, realize that we have three steps instead of just two. Um, as we go back, I'd like to show you some of the storage areas. You, you got your hydraulic pump for your, for your jacks. You also have your a double battery system. Everybody does it come standard with, a, with two batteries for the house, and that's a two battery system. The other thing is, is you notice that the doors are opening to the side so that you're not having them crash down on your head as you're opening them up. The, this is a uh, composite uh, cover that actually goes in that storage area. It's all one piece and it's got a drain in it so you can just rinse that out. Each one of these compartments has that up and over storage that is all one piece as far as the coverage goes. Take a look, this is another one, same thing. You can see it goes all the way through. Some of the best storage of anything I've, I've sold in a Class A uh, gas unit. Um, this is big enough that they actually transport the, the rock guard for the back of the coach in it. As we go back, um, obviously we've got our outside TV, it's a nice big screen, it's got, you've got an awning over the top of this area, so technically you have awnings over the entire um, uh, curbside of this motorhome. So you've got lots of space to, to put your chairs out and enjoy the space. X outside speakers to go along with it. Again, nice big storage here. Inside here is also the ladder that goes to the overhead bed above the driver's area. Behind this door, we got the quick connect for propane. If you're going to be doing some cooking outside, a lot of people love that. It, it's it, it just nice to have it already there. This is an access panel here, and this is an access panel for for uh, water. Be aware that this is a has, has an Arctic package on it. The basement is sealed and heated, so it's going to be do as well as just about anything in the marketplace as far as the the cold weather goes. Water heater, obviously. You've got a 5,000 pound hitch and a seven pin uh, uh, wiring setup so you can tow your car or whatever you've got in mind. Beautiful one piece cap. The ladder um, is standard on it. You don't have to pay extra for that. And again, you got to show your, see your backup camera there. This unit is, is actually a full body paint model, um, which is an, an extra option. It costs considerably more money, but it's sure worth it. It's really a beautiful coach. In the back here, we've got a whole house water filtering system. We've got our black tank flush, we've got our, uh, our shower, exterior shower, outside shower. They're lighted, so if you're, it's dark, you're back there hooking up, you're in a good position to be able to see what's going on. Because of the double air conditioners on this unit, you've got a 50 amp service, you can see the 50 amp cord right there, and again, there's that ladder that goes up to the overhead bunk. Your fuel fill, furnace, and again, the other side of those, uh, all the way pass through storage areas. 
Right here shows you the 5500 Onan generator that will run those two ACs. And while we're talking about ACs, they have high output, uh, two high output air conditioners with one heat pump. So that heat pump is going to create heat um, down to about 40 degrees if you're plugged in on 110 power. Anybody who's had one and used it knows how wonderful that heat pump system is. Let's go inside and take a look at the, at the interior. This, this floor plan has three slide outs. You've got the galley slide, you've got the couch dinette, which is actually two recliner chairs with the dinette. And of course, there's a the bedroom slide, so you get a king bed in the back, plus you just get all the amenities of a nice, nice coach. One thing to realize about the, the dinette, it's that dream dinette system, where all you have to do is just release it and push it down to make it into the bed. Also, be aware that this, this dinette is, is longer than just about anything else in the industry. There is space in here for two full-sized adults with your food and plates as you sit in the in this dinette it's about a foot longer than most other dinettes a couple of fun things about this area these are two recliners there's storage here you got uh, cup holders these actually will run on uh, 110 power but it's, it's a power recliner it's got heat in the seats and they also have a vibration system so really comfortable, fun seating in front of a 40 inch TV with your sound bar. This is a brand new um, fireplace this year, something that they've just barely added, just a different brand, a little, high, a little higher quality with the Furion brand name, but it's, it's uh, just flat and not sticking out, still creates heat on 110 power. Uh, big storage here, for, if you're gonna use it for a linen closet, And then of course back here in the bedroom, we've got the, the hang set up. So you've got closet hang here and closet hang over here. This right here is the cushion that actually goes onto that dinette so to make that a nice comfortable bed. One thing about the GT5s is every one of them um, now come with a, the hookups and setup for washer dryer. There you can see your drain and your water supply is all right there, ready to go. So it's just a matter of, if you choose to put a washer dryer in, we can do that. Or it's a great hang closet. Uh, take a look at the bathroom. It's got a nice big shower and some nice counter space. By the way, all the solid surface matches everywhere. In the bathroom, the, the, this little uh, uh, tables by, your, by the side of the bed and even over the, that fireplace. This is your, your king bed actually has latching doors that actually are, are solid doors. They're not the, the accordion bifold jobs and the same with the bathroom door is the same. We'll get a picture here of the bathroom. Nice stainless steel sink in the bathroom, which gives it a little more, a little more eyeball and some good storage. That's your half bath. So in the galley, we, they've done a couple of neat things for us. We've got a nice microwave convection oven, and it's a good size. It's not that the little tiny ones that a lot of them are putting in. You've got a worktop surface right here, the glass that actually folds up out of the way. And it is, I'll never say rattle free, but it's as close to that as you're gonna get because they really are nice and tight with a, with a knife rack in the back. Also notice the size of the oven. It, it's about six inches taller than, than most of the ovens that you're used to especially coming from the trailer business. Um, 12 cubic foot fridge, um, works just great. Of course, it's a gas electric fridge in the GT5s. And then here you go with the, with the storage trays for your pantry. Nice, nice big, beautiful wood cabinet. I mean, they're, they're like a cabinet. They're, they're so nicely made. And these, these are the same down here. This actually is, has a place, an insert for wine bottles if you wanted to put some wine down there. So the drivetrain on the, on the G Georgetowns is all pretty much the same. It's gonna be that 320 horsepower Ford V10 with a six-speed transmission. It's been a great, a great drivetrain. It's the biggest there is in the marketplace and it does a great job. I hope this helps you in your decision in, in looking at the Georgetown lineup. Please come by and, come by and see us.